Okay guys, welcome to the chemistry lesson. In today's chemistry lesson, I want to teach you a concept only, the more concept, okay? So I want to teach you the more concept. So what you should understand is that um, the more concept deals with counting the number of four atoms in molecules, substances, and also compounds or elements. So this one just deals with it. counting number of atoms in what? In one compounds Then in two uh, molecules, then in three elements, or even we can say four in short substances. Because all these which I've listed here, they are substances, all right? So when we are dealing with counting numbers of atoms in compounds, molecules, elements, or other substances, then that is just done under more concept, okay? So now let's see what a more is in chemistry, okay? So in chemistry, we say a more is the amount of a substance yes. amount of a substance that contains that contains we say as the many elementary particles as many elementary particles as there exactly atoms as there are exactly uh, atoms in 12.0 gram of four carbon 12 isotope so basically this is the standard definition of what a more is in chemistry so a more in chemistry is the amount of a substance that contains as many elementary particles as there are uh, as they are exactly atoms in a 12 uh, point zero grams of carbon 12 isotope now what are these elementary particles we are talking about so elementary particles are eg elementary particles are in this case um, we are talking of atoms themselves ions it can be molecules can be electrons, protons, etc. So we can find out how many uh, atoms are in one more, how many ions are in one more, how many molecules are in one more, how many electrons are in one more, how many protons are in one more. All right, so you must understand that a more is a standard number. Okay, so that's why we are calling it is an amount of a substance. So a more is a standard number, and this number is actually uh, 6.023 times 10 to the power 23. So a more, in short, we are saying a more is a standard number equal to equal to 6.023 times 10 
to the power 23. So this means that eh, if you have one more of a substance, okay, one more of a substance contains eh, about eh, 6.023 times 10 to the power 23 elementary particles. So that's what it is. So that's what you should do. No, you are having any one more. So when you have one more, you have 6.023 times 10 to the power 23 elementary particles. Okay, so it's a standard. So you can liken a more to a dozen. So you can liken a more to a dozen you know this way it doesn't it's very common okay if i say one dozen of batteries we already know what it means it means 12 batteries themselves okay that's what we it means so the same way if i say one more it means six point zero two three times ten to the power twenty three elementary particles we already know i can also liken a mod to a tray of eggs okay if we say one tray okay sorry one tray of eggs we already know what it is one tray of eggs has got how many thirty eggs so these are standard numbers that we know or weights one or three, if you send your kid or someone is sent or yourself you are sent to say you're going to buy one or three or four eggs. It means you should come up with 30 eggs altogether. All right. That's what it means. So also if we say one pair of shoes. Okay. Equally if you say one pair of shoes also means how many two shoes okay so that's what it means with it, the more so i get you are getting your understanding the comparison or the similarity between a more how it works in chemistry that's how it works when we talk about a more we are talking about this number all right so meaning this simply means that um This simply means like this. So let me just uh, give you an example. If you have this example here, so this example here says um, calculate the number. of four moles in the following so in the following species so a i have a question like uh, i have 1.76 times 10 to the power 20 atoms of calcium then b i have uh, something like uh, um 4.4 times 10 to the power 22 molecules of uh, carbon dioxide so now i have this question they want me to do what to calculate what to calculate the number of moles in where in 1.76 times 10 to the power 20 atoms of calcium and also b 4.4 times 10 to the power 23 molecules of carbon dioxide so it will be simple solutions 
So solutions, I'll say A. So when answering A, what I'm going to do here is simple. So I will say, if I'm given one more, I know that in one more, I should have 6.023 um, times 10 to the power 23. Now, since I'm dealing with atoms here, meaning I say atoms this side, okay? So if I have one more, I should already know that in it, there is 6.023 times 10 to the power 23. Now, how about if you are given 1.76 times 10 to the power 20 atoms? So I'll make a comparison. I am given atoms like 1.76 times 10 to the power 20. So these are atoms. Now, they want number of moles in this. So I'll put on this side of the mole, I'll put x. Then I'll cross it, multiply to find the unknown. So I'll multiply x times 6 times this. I'll get like uh, 6.023 times 10 to the power 23 atoms. Then x. Then I'll say equals, then this times that, I'll get like 1.76 times 10 to the power 20, 20. Then I have um, atoms, then I have this more here. Now, what I'm looking for is um, x. So to remain with x, I'll divide this side by the unwanted. 6.023 times 10 to the power 23 atoms. Bye. Even this side, I'll do the same. The same thing here. 6.023 times 10 to the power 23 atoms. So what I'm going to do, I'll cancel this and this will cancel. Then atom and atom will cancel. So this side I'll remain with x is equal to then in the indices I'll just pick this 1.76 divided by like this one 6.023. I'll put them in brackets, then 10 to power 20, 10 to power 23. I'll do it like this. So I'll say times c 10 to the power, then uh, 20 minus c 20. 3. Then I'll remain with C more. I'm using laws of indices in mathematics to make my work easier. Okay? So I'll say equals. Then if I divide 1.76 divided by 6.023, I'm going to get something like um, 0 0.2922. Then if I say times 10, this times 10, then it 20 minus 23, I'll get like minus 3. Then I'll put it more here. So now I'll just move a point here. X is equal to, so if a point come here, it will be 2 point less than 9, 2, 2. Then I'll say times 10 to the power. So once a point is moved to the right, the power is increased by 1. So this will be negative 4 moles. So why I moved the point here? Because these numbers that I'm given have got at least a whole number before the point. So even my answer should follow that format. So now I've found the answer here. So it means that I have um, 2.922 times 10 to the power negative 4 more in this number I'm given 1.76 times 10 to the power 20. Atom. So I have these moles of calcium. Okay. So let me answer the second question. So the second question. Again, I'll answer it in the similar way. So guys, if you are enjoying this one, please give it a like. Follow my page and also my YouTube channel and also let me know in the comment section. Please, you can share for you to be able to see 
the next lesson if you follow my page you will be able to see the next lesson that i'm going to post and also if you follow my youtube by clicking the subscribe button and turning on the notification you will see the next video that i'm going to post okay so let me do b here b this is what we have so the same format to say in one more there is always 6.023 times 10 to the power 23 now since we are dealing with molecules even this side will say molecules all right so what will follow next is now we'll pick this one we'll say oh now we are given 4.4 times 10 to the power 22 molecules now they want us to know how many moles like it is this side so we'll do like x we also don't know then you cross multiply so x times this you get like 6.023 uh, times 10 to the power 23 then you say molecules then you say x then equals then also you say oh, this times that you get like 4.4 times 10 to the power 22 then you have uh, molecules then you have uh, more this one here now remember you want to know x so you get rid of this stuff so you divide by 6.023 times 10 to the power 23 molecules then even this side 6.023 times 10 to the power 23 molecules so that this goes and this then this molecule and that they cancel so here you remain with x is equal to then here you say 4.4 then divided by this 6.023 open brackets then you say outside you can also remain you say times 10 this 10 since you have 10 here 10 here you pick it once then you say 22 you subtract the powers 22 minus c 23 then you put more at the end here then what you do now you divide 4.4 divided by 6.023 you get something like 0 0.7305 okay that's what you get then 22 minus uh, 23 you get something like 10 to the power negative 1 then more then what you do also you move it once so you move this zero this side as well this point so you have 7.3 times 10 to the power negative 2 moles So again, this is the answer. So, in a nutshell, we are saying a mole is a standard number equal to 6.023 times 10 to the power 23 so that's what a more is so sometimes if you have forgotten to define a more you just say a more is a standard number equal to uh, to 6.023 times 10 to the power 23 you say elementary particles if the first definition i gave was hard and this 
uh, number here is has a special name so this the number 6.023 times 10 to the power 23 is called Avogadro it's constant so it is called Avogadro's constant in honor of uh, a scientist by the name of uh, um, this one Ame Ame Dio uh, Avogadro Avo Gadro. So this one is the one actually who did some studies to come up with the more concept. So this one is called Avogadro C constant represented by any subscript A here. Avogadro. Okay, so thank you for watching. So remember to subscribe to the channel. Remember also to follow the page and like and share for you to be able to see the next video that I'm going to post on the more concept. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a like. See you in the next video. Bye.